very, very dark. We start this vlog off picking Jack up from youth on a Friday night. Things out. Sunny Saturday. Uh -huh. Oh, it's sunny. Got the wind Why have you got the wind Got this warm in here. It's a bit fresh air in. Tomorrow, today is sunny Saturday. Tomorrow apparently is going to be soggy Sunday according to the forecast. So I'm going to do a meal later. And it's the Swedish meatballs, celerac and spinach rice. Jamie Oliver won these are my ingredients. So I've got part of them. What I need to get at some point today is thyme, a bunch of dill, a small bottle of vodka. That'll be fun. 200 grams of lean pork and lean beef mince. Some natural yoghurt and single cream and the rest of the bits I've already got. So we'll see how this meal goes. EA beautiful is complete. Last packet. Last packet. Last packet. That is complete. I've looked for that everywhere and I've got it in just Tesco just down the road. Now I'm going to get some vodka, some basil, spinach, thyme. Vodka. Vodka. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So we're going to get some dips and chips later. You either have that. Yeah. We've got a, a, we've got a salsa dip at home. So yeah. A little bit of one. Or we have a salsa. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So we'll go for the heat wave chilli. With the cool dip. Your dad, if you're watching, you fancy that. Or you could go really mad. Jalpino fire. <laughs> Just going to have a look at Bean's garden efforts then. So I spent most of the afternoon, it's been so nice, it's only been about 12, 13, it's been glorious still sunshine. So I've you know, been sat in the sun and sunbathing all the afternoon. I've had my shorts on, just put them back on, but uh, Shell's been sorting the bushes out. Dad, you mentioned it the other day, so look. I'm not a gardener. Bring the washing in. Yeah, so not bad. I need to clean all this up now. It stays nice over the weekend. I need to jet wash the patio because otherwise it just get rained on and get the garden. We've got we've got three chairs out already. Because it was so nice. The table's already out. Got to move that back. Dumps tomorrow. Really load of stuff. Clean the patio, jet wash it off. Clean the conservatory. Bring the plants out. Set for summer. Right, so I'm going to attempt this meal this afternoon then. Swedish meatballs, celery and spinach and rice. So we've got um, we've got the mince. This is over. It's 500. We only need yeah 200 of each. So I'm going to cut these in half more or less. 200 of pork mince. 200 of beef mince. It should be um, lean low fat, but one of them's low fat and the one isn't, but it'll do. Got the uh, caraway seeds, celeriac, spinach, we only need 200 grams, there's 240 there, so I'll just chop that down. Um, we need cranberry jam, so the sauce, um, what else do we need? Oh, we need the, I've got these today, I looked everywhere, you know, Tesco's save the day. Deal, fresh dill. It's fresh, so it's not normal seed and stuff. And then we've got um, thyme. You need a bit of that. 
Oh, it's not nice, is it? Um, olive oil. No garlic in this. I don't think there's anything else I need. Oh, we've got salt and pepper. So, oops, that sort of thing. There's that. I don't think there's anything else I need. Throw it. Oh, the rice. I'll need the rice. Oh, stuff's coming out. So I've got some Mr. Ben's rice. Basmati. Um, we only need uh, three builders mugs of that, which is about 200 grams. Oh, she's 300 grams. She's four people. A builders mug, not two builders mugs. A builders mug, which is 300 grams of rice. So I'm going to use one of those big white mugs we've got. Um, pour into pot with two of the same of water. So we're going to follow that through. So we need some water. That's our water. <laughs> and the kettle. We're boiling some of the water. That's about it, really. It's not, I, haven't, I haven't brought the ingredients down with me. They're upstairs. But as we go through it, that'll be it. So we'll see how we get on. Right, so I'm just prepping now, ready to start. So I've done the celeriac. It makes a lot. That one. Dice that. There we are. And the meat's cut into two. What I've done is basically hold the packets. Put the rest in the freezer and we'll just use this. So there's around about 200, so it's probably about 250. It may make slightly more meatballs than we need, um, but more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. So there's the mince, there's the celeriac, there's the ingredients, and now we can get started. I'm just going to get the pans and stuff ready and we'll like, start it off. So I've got my pans ready. So you will need lids for your pans or your bowls. Pan and a la crew so you will need a lid. One one of the very important ingredients I forgot is the vodka. I'll be using a couple of teaspoon, um, no, a couple of tablespoons full of that. A few of them. Chuck it in. That's when it catches fire. That caramelises it, along with the jam. Really good point. Then the rest, well, you can drink that. Got my wine for later. That's been uh, sitting in the sun a bit. So I've got the uh, chosen the. Uh, a Blair Cote de Bordeaux and a Corbière. Um, so we'll try those. Should be nice. They're one bit the other. They're just sort of nicely warmed through. They're not quite warm. They, they warm through a little bit with the sun and then they come down to room temperature. By the time you pour them in the glass, they're just spot on. They sort of spend the afternoon breathing and simmering. So it should complement this quite well. And it is such a lovely evening. Enough there for four people, easy. We're gonna have, and Jack's not got his appetite like that yet. He's had that. He's had that bug. So, how much he's gonna eat is another thing. Store in a big bowl of it. Interesting. What you say? Interesting. Mm. Scandinavian. Yeah. Well, Swedish meatballs with Scandinavian twist on it. I made meatballs myself. Jamie Oliver recipe that I've copied. Oh, Actually, what's that value, Sam? Mm. Yeah. Not sad, it's very good. It's 
chuck it in. Mm. I'm not convinced. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right? Mm -hmm. mm. It's got jack spray, but it must be alright. Mm. Right. Mm. It's a real nice little medley. A lot of different flavours I've not had before. Sweet, not sweet and sour, sweet and sort of savoury. and span. My work here is done. Rehearsing for next Saturday. Obviously, Jack's got a gig, but Hannah's playing. Yeah, I think she's playing at the church as well. Yeah, she's doing a song, something not in Jack's band, something separate. So that's what they're practicing now. <laughs> Soggy Sunday. The dumps. It's not so nice today. It's not soggy. Not so nice. Yeah. Got all sorts in there. Bag of clothes, garden rubbish, old car parts, lawnmower bucket, cardboard. You name it, it's in there. Get your free 55% off quote today. Everyone's had the same idea. <laughs> it was raining in the Norbert Elfoss Park. Gloves on. There he goes, nothing. It's got that kind of light tonight where it's like got a filter on it. I can't remember what they call it now. It's like a warm glow you can put on a video to enhance it. And tonight, if the camera picks up, it's got that warm glow. It's like I'm looking on a rendered video that's had this filter put on it. You, anyway, you'll know what I mean. If you look at it now, you might just... I'll move further back. It's a really weird light. I don't know whether it's going to... I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. Whoops! If you're watching this, then when I watched it back in post, I assumed that it was actually picking it up. It's a really weird light. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. And it's got a real brownie sort of rich tinge to it. I love it. Whoa, look. Pinky skirt. Walking over. Oh, that's what it is. I hope it comes out pink on it. Oh, it does a bit. Spooky! The apocalypse is here. The apocalypse is here. Very uh, pinky. Told you it was pink, now Jack's on about it. Yesterday spring was finally here, it was gorgeous, it was nearly 20 degrees, the 
birds were singing. It was just all intents and purposes the start of a lovely summer's day. And now it's cold and we have hail the next day. It's a Friday morning, look at it. And the forecast over the weekend, well, rain, seven degrees. I'm actually, I get climatised to the warm so quickly and so easily. I never climatised to the cold. Yesterday and the day before was really nice. I sat out at lunch in the sunshine in a short sleeve shirt. I'm now shivering. It's not used to it. and it's windy as well. 